Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 270. Halloween Day 2023. Trick or treat and all those kind of good things. I hope all of you have a wonderful day. We're gonna do triage, because that's what we do on these days. Uh, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. And for those of you that are, welcome. It's great to have you here. If anybody else is in chat, go ahead and say hi. A um, couple people already made them presents known. Maybe a bunch of people are already starting their trick-or-treating early and are out there running around in daylight trying to get candy. I don't know. Um, we're gonna do triage, because that's what we have today. And then we'll do questions, comments, anything people want to talk about at the end of that. And I told Bob that depending on how we answer this first uh, issue, I think we will have a short meeting. So let's go see if that is correct. Triage, Bob, you ready? I can hardly wait. Hardly wait. All right. So we're starting at the top. 7605, the issue that has been around since the dawn of time. That's not true. Just been around since probably the, near the beginning of, it's been of, four months. of Wix 5. Um, that's not fair. Wix 5 has been around more, a little bit more than that. But this is definitely one of the early ones. Okay, okay. So this is a major upgrade. You can go back and hang out with all the shows. All of you that have been coming along with us know this is all about major upgrade. And the core issue that I had forgotten about before or last week was that um, we want to basically turn major upgrade on by default because really that's what you want in 90% of cases, if not higher, probably. And then you have to type all this stuff. And it's just like, ugh, can we just, just do that for everybody? Because it's probably what they want. Um... Bert says update screen. I don't know what that means. Um, I hope things are working. I can see stuff. I don't know. Um, all right. Let's see. Uh, maybe things okay. I everybody else see things. Jacob, Ron. I don't know. I hope I'm on the right screen. No. Looking, looking like looking okay on the stream. All right, all right. Good now. Okay. Bert just got a little bit behind. Um, maybe. His stream has been trick or treat on him. Um, YouTube has been glitching, by the way. They they actually sent mail saying, "Hey, we're sorry that, but we've been glitching." YouTube and YouTube TV both, um, mm -hmm. and I'm customers of both, so they sent me a mail. I was like, "That was actually kind of cool." Anyway, um, so if you're seeing some glitches, all good now. That's that's great. All right, so the issue is we want to give people major upgrades, and um, but for those whatever percentage is left, ten percent less probably. Um, oh yeah, it's it's a two nines at we, least I think. Yeah, we don't want to force major upgrades for those very narrow cases where you want it because invariably we end up hitting somebody that needs the special case. So we need a way of saying, hey, let's give you major upgrade by default, and then let's not give it to you if you want. And I've been kicking around this idea for a while. Um, oh, sorry. And the issue, of course, being that if we default major upgrade and we always give it to you, then we need some way to not give it to you. And then uh, if you have you have major upgrade, usually we override things by saying, oh, we'll just define your own. But if you don't want major upgrade, there's no way to say, I don't want this by adding a major upgrade. That doesn't make sense. So we need something else to say, hey, don't give this thing to me by default. And... I've been kicking around this idea for a while, and I, I think it is a good solution to this problem and a solution to future problems that we won't, and lines us up for future features that I don't we won't hit in Wix 5. Um, but I want, I like the idea of adding a, and of course the specific word can be picked better than the one that I come up with initially, but I like the idea of setting an upgrade strategy on the package element that goes along with the upgrade code and the upgrade strategy would be an enum that would be uh, with values of major upgrade by default. And the other word I've gone, I've gone around different ways, but I, you know, it could be like custom or upgrade strategy, none, but I don't think none's quite the right answer. Essentially custom means you're going to take over control and um, upgrade strategy, major upgrade, or major means that we will generate the major upgrade for you. And it opens up the space for us to add things like minor upgrade in the future. Right. when we want to start playing games with the uh, product code rather than generating a new one every time, uh, generate a stable one 
that changes based on your version number and so on and so forth. It just opens up when I get more of those details worked out. And I think it says the right thing. It's like, what's your upgrade strategy? I want major upgrades or I want, I think custom or something like that, knowing that there will be other things in the future. So I think that lines us up both good ways. And of course, upgrade strategy would be defaulted to major because that's what you probably yeah. want. I think that's the straightforward, easy way it lines us up correctly going forward. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's fine. Uh, I'm I'm now quibbling over the the other option. Uh, the other option being, sorry, I, I, the, you couldn't tell apparently, but other in that sense was enclosed in backticks. Um, none custom. Oh, 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 other. You're talking about the enum value. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the um, major upgrade strategy other. Mm. Yeah. Because none is what is happening. Upgrade strategy is really automatic upgrade strategy, right? Yeah. And yeah. In that sense, none is the correct one. Um, yeah, except custom. I wanted to say custom because it's basically like you're going to have to define it yourself. You could choose to yeah, define no, none. I, I understand. <laughs> but I didn't want to say none because it'd be like, well, now nothing you do is going to work. It was like, it's right. custom. You're like, all right, well, now it's whatever you do. I didn't do anything. Well, that's an option for custom. Um, yeah, I, I, it, it's probably the best thing. I don't like it, but it's probably the best word. Well, I, I'm open to better words, of of course. Well, I don't times. have one, so I'm... There's time. Uh, well, you know, it's it's November tomorrow, so not a lot. No, not a lot of time. I'm saying there's time between now and... The actual typing of the final value in the enum. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No. I mean, the, the concept is fine. Um, I'm just thinking about the words. The words are hard. The upgrade strategy though doesn't sound too bad to you. Or you think maybe a trip across customs so much that um... the again, the concept is fine. Um, we agree that we have to have a way to opt out. Um, I think opting out is so rare that I would be fine with a command line switch. Um, yeah, I, but I, I know you want the you want that minor upgrade thing. Um, so and, and moreover, I don't want that. Doesn't feel like something that should be com controlled by an upgrade switch or a command line switch. That's the other thing. The, the upgrade strategy you're choosing feels like it should be in the source code, not on the command line. That's what I'm saying. Uh, except the number of people that will not want, that do not want major upgrade support approaches zero. So I'm fine with it being a command line switch because it's just so weird. And I just, you know, at that, I, I cannot imagine an actual scenario where having upgrade support is negative. I can understand not wanting it if you're doing one of those, uh, you know, I mean, I guess the perfect example is one where you suppress registered product and you're just using the MSI as the self extractor. Yeah. Not even that. But, it's just, you want to control the upgrade table completely. I'm like, that's fine. Like, do your extra version checks, you know, in this case, to this case, I detect this. For this case, to this case, I detect this. I don't need the default one. That's just adding another check in the well, space I don't need. It's like, that's fine. I can see that. Well, yeah, but, you know, remember, this feature only kicks in if you don't already author. Oh, yeah, there's all that, too. Upgrade. Yeah, I guess, yeah, once so, you have an upgrade, then it turns off, too, so. Yeah, so that's two ways of turning it off. Um, Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should only turn it off if the upgrade strategy is custom. I'm I'm throwing that out there. No, 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 that uh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just uh, you know, you. No, that gets too complicated. It, you know, it's like we're going to give you one by default, it, and it would merge in with what you authored. No, it would probably conflict. So, now nah, that that I mean that is a downside of 
the upgrade strategy attribute. In that, it's essentially telling you if you want your own thing, you must author custom. Mm -hmm. But yours we is also should. backwards compatible. Thank you. Yes, that was <laughs> just about to mention that. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm fine. Either way, I still think this lines us up correctly moving forward, too. Um, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, just to be clear, I don't, I don't put a lot of value on your minor upgrade feature. I, I understand that. Because minor upgrades are really rare. Most people don't and, use them, and yeah. most people can't use them responsibly. Yep, and then that's why I'm not asking you to do any work for it. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm fine with upgrade strategy. Um, and custom is okay. Right. If I come up with a better word, I will suggest it, but I think that's a great idea. <laughs> yep. I thought you might. I just sat for a while going, well, what word, what word? And custom, I just kept coming back to custom. So I, yeah. the same way you did. Like, uh, I don't have everyone. All right. I, I think that is the solution to that. Well, that's the solution to that. Um, I am curious about the rest of the standard lib support. Is this, you know, the, I have, you know, all my consideration bullets, most of them still apply. Um, you know, what do we do with, what do we do with the behavior today that you get from having multiple Wixels? You know, i.e. the output path. Mm. Multiple wicks with the path. I don't think, no, yeah, I, I don't, I think that only happens if it comes along, if, I think that. It only happens with MS Build. Correct, and that behavior only happens if you have Wixels in your project file. We're going to bring this into a standard lib, which means we're going to default to one of the values inside the standard lib. So that should not be a problem. Like, it's not going to change the behavior. No, I'm right. Yes. I'm suggesting it, right now. Uh, I'm just I'm suggesting that it's inconsistent that it wouldn't change the behavior. The problem is that behavior is entirely on the MS build side and not on Wix.exe. Yeah, but so the standard lib is not going to cause you to create multiple MSIs, one per language. Right. The standard lib is going to say, oh, your MSI is this language. I have a Wixel for you, or I have the fallback Wixel for you automatically. Here's the strings you get for my thing. The same as the custom action, or the, the extensions do. It's the same behavior there. Using well, extension does yeah. not change the language of your MSI. No, but, well, yeah. It kind of does because the extensions have to specify a default culture. Are you suggesting that Wix is not going to have a default culture? Wix.exe is going to have a default culture. Mm. Default culture. No, it's just, I mean, there will be, I mean, we have this problem. We will have a default language for language zero, which will have, by, which will probably be English, which I mean, because we have to have a string. I'm I'm missing the problem. Pull it too. Will be you're suggesting English as the the else zero fallback, right? And that. So if you want to change it, then you have to provide a Wixel to override that string variable. 
Well, that, that, uh, yeah. no, no, my concern is I, I specify, um, okay, I have no major upgrade element, so I'm going to get the default one. Yep. This applies to other cases, but now I'm going to get a default string. I, you know, in my uh, package element, I'm giving language 1047, but Wix.exe isn't going to have 1047 strings. It will fall back to zero, our zero, and give an English string. Well, it'll fall back to whatever 1047 falls back to, yeah, which in the end will be whatever we have in the end, yeah. Well, uh, for the sake of this discussion, say that we have only English strings. Okay, then yeah, it's gonna, 1047 will fall back to 1033, yep. No, it'll fall back to zero, right? It, it, we'll have we can have 1033 strings we can have zero strings true you're right i guess it, it could fall back to zero yeah so yeah. my concern is that even though someone said 1047 we're not giving them an english string with no indication that there was a fallback should there be a fallback should it be a warning oh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh I hear I okay. So the issue is, should we automatically fall back to a language? And well, do we tell uh, them <laughs> when we, if we uh, can? Do we? Yeah. Tell? So I mean, we mean, can't fail because then everybody's got to provide a local which, file well, for this. They already have to provide a string. Yeah, but they could have hard coded it to whatever they wanted before. Yeah, yeah, so sure. because they had to author it. Yes. Uh, this is the you know. This is the gist of my problem with this feature once I got into it. Um, you know, th this complicates the story, the Loke story a lot. Um, you know, I, I agree we should, we should fall back. So to answer, you know, the first question, yes, we should fall back. Should it be done silently? And I say no. Yeah, but, I don't think we should change that behavior. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Well, I understand there, the concern. There's no behavior yet. Uh, the behavior of Loke falling back in Wixlips. I think we should keep that. We should just use that behavior. And yes, the end result I understand is we are going to pick a language for you, which may not match the one that you asked for. Um, but that's the same as like the UI strings, right? And Wix UI has those challenges as well. Uh, um, Where if yes, you don't have but, a language, it falls back. Um, well, the, uh, the obvious difference is we have a lot of strings for Wix UI. True. Um, okay, I, I off the top of my head, I don't know what the current behavior is. And it's yeah, you know, mostly it's a little different because you're opting into an extension. Again, this is you know now default behavior, so I'm a little wary of just yeah. You know, <laughs> I you know I'm an American. I was born an American, but I understand not the whole world speaks English. And in fact, I've recently learned that you know some companies ship English four times. <laughs> English US, English UK. Yep. English CA. Canada. Yep. And English A and Z, which took me a little while to figure out was Australia, New Zealand. I was going to say, is that New Zealand and yeah, Australia? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There, there are plenty of languages to choose from. And I hope over time people will help contribute to standard lips so that we have good, you know, translations for all these yeah, languages. Yeah. 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 But again, I'm just, my concern is I don't, I don't want anyone to accidentally get English. If that happens with, with Wix UI today, then I can say, oh, okay, I guess we have, you know, precedent, but I'm a little, I'm worried about it being in the core. Okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> it's just, to me, it's the, it's the, yeah, and you can change it. <laughs> you can, you can change it. it, it and if you want, you can use major upgrade can, element and, still. Well, yes, but I'm saying I'm saying we should not give it to them silently. That's all I'm saying. Yes, 
there are plenty of ways to work around it. We should not blindly insert an English string. Because there's no, you know, without that, and without Wix UI, just to simplify things, keeping it in the core, you will get an MSI that is localized by the OS. So I just, I, I don't want to change that unless we have to for stuff that's in the core. Yeah, that just says to me that we should localize the strings to the standard a little more. Well, but we're never going to get all of them. Uh, then, yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, this is this is not a. Yeah, I don't. It's less. A, I hear you. I, I don't think it's as big a deal. The benefit of it, I think, is what overrides for me. And yeah, I I, I want the benefit, but. You know, the it's an entirely separate question dealing with localization. I want the feature. I, I'm not arguing. Well, I kind of want the feature. I want it less now, but I'm not arguing against it. I'm just, you know, I don't. I don't want us to put in force English strings without notice. This is the. I mean, <laughs> as as you might have seen a lot of. Um, discussions going on in the GitHub discussions area. A lot of stuff is, if it's not apparent, it's very difficult to be discoverable. And I, that's why I think at the very least we'd have, we should have a warning when you fall back to English. And I do agree we should fall back because again, I want the feature, right? I don't want that feature limited to ENUS. But I'm not sure I want, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, 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 in the core, I think there should be, we should fall back and there should be a message. That's all. All right. So if we do the ultimate fallback, not a user specified fallback, but if we do the, we found nothing. So we did the ultimate fallback warn saying, Hey, by the way, for this string, we did, we, we fell back. None of your fallback specified. So we fell back to this other thing. You know, the ultimate backstop, which is zero, whatever we put for zero, which will be the only thing that we, something that has to fit in 1252 as well, has to fit in the 1252 code page. Why? Because we, we don't know what code page the MSI is and 1252 is the only thing that fits at all. But, sorry, not even 1252, it has to be lower ASCII. It has to be yeah. the lower, not even 1252, it has to be the lower ASCII. You can only use characters from there. I am fine with this, given yeah. what we're going to, you know, put in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, that's the. Okay. Can. I I I understand, <laughs> and I I think it'll kick in. I think that warning's going to kick in in other places too. That'll be interesting. So, but we'll see. Like the Wix um, UI, yeah. now you might get that warning kicked in more. Uh, we have it today, right, with error messages. But they're error messages. Sorry, it was like custom action error table. Um, yeah, right. Yes. Yes. And, and those are errors because yep. they're just plain missing. Yep. So if we wanted to take the same approach with the other extensions, we could do that, provide, you know, mark in English as, you know, zero fallback. But otherwise right now, it's just gonna error, fatal. Yeah. All right, so there's the language fallback considerations inside the standard lib that you're talking about here. Yeah. And is major upgrade the only one that has a string so far? So is far. Yeah. Why this is there? I see. This is the only yeah, one that yeah, has yeah. a string so far. Yep. Nothing else has a string. This is the first one. Do we have case? We have the same thing. We have the same thing in burn somewhere, right? Nope. 
I thought there nope. was a, we have some. There's one case where we have a message, and yeah. we explicitly made it a system message. So we can have the system like format glass. message. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yep. Here, system, this error code. Tell us what that means. Thank you. Yep. Exactly. Whatever language the user is currently running in. I remember that. I remember that point. Nope. Burn, burn provides okay. one string, and that was it. Right. I knew there was a string in burn. Yeah. It might also be there. Might actually there might be more than one. Um, now I think there's the error product version pops up somewhere. Okay. But I don't think the only message that burn itself shows is the version check. Got it. Okay. I I, I understand here. Okay. Cool. Look at that. Four months later, we can finally remove the triage label. Yeah. Need a little more time. All right. Uh, moving on. See, I told you guys this meeting was going to be completely based on how well Bob behaved today. All right. And I did not behave well. Issue number 7790. Uh, buying time variables of Wix4 aren't documented. And Bob has suggested we should. And I generally agree with that. Yeah. So someone could go do that. Great reference, reference material for Wix to have. Up for grabs? Yeah, I get. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I have enough things on my plate. I'm not getting to that one. All right. 7792. Heat not running on Linux build CI. Don't care. That's just the first of your problems running on Linux. Yeah, don't. Yeah. Even don't if they care. get past heat not working, they're not going to get uh, Wix working without you know, wine. Yeah, this is. There's another issue open about making Wix run on Linux. Can we An just old old issue? Yeah. Can yeah. We just, I'll, I'll dupe it. Let's just dupe it to that. It's like, yeah, this is not the only thing. Make right. that go. Make that. And people are going like, to contribute stuff. I'm like, that's great. All right, 7792, yeah, we'll go dupe it against that. 7798, feature to allow, what is this feature request? Uh, why do people format these things weird? I, it's my fault, it's all my fault. And it produces the value empty string, yes. Third party, silent installs by convention properties where an empty value for the property means false. And they ship with a property defined inside their MSI for that. That's kind of weird. A default of one, and you override it with Empty. blank. Which and we probably turn dumb, this off. But you know what? It it is exactly how MSI works, right? Yeah. So we just people get just confused because they say, "But I set you know I don't know, ARP system component to zero. And, yeah. But if you read the doc. Right, you have to set Zero the blank. Is still a true string. Okay, uh, yeah, you can give this to me. Yeah, we need to. Okay. This should. Do you know what's going to happen? I'm like, this should be easy. You just have to go and allow the empty string, which is like a bit in the compiler. Yeah. It's, it's and then I'm going to find true. out that in the tightening of insanity inside the bun, burn binder, I'm going to find out that there's all this crap that requires it not to be empty. Anyway, sorry. My own yeah, personal problems here. with that things that, that, well, yeah, it's, it needs to be done. It's just, every time yeah, I touch yeah. this, I end up getting bit by decisions I'm not happy with. Sorry. I understand. I've been dealing with that a little bit too much lately. So, all right. Yeah, we should fix that. That's probably was that way in three and got changed in four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, actually, that's, yeah, good question. I don't know. All right. I'll have to remember. I'll get in this one, see how bad it is, and then might put it on the, if we do a four, toss that one in. That makes me grumpy. All right, there we go. I knew the rest of them would go pretty quick, just look at them. Yeah. Because either this 7798 was going to be yes or no, and it was going to be pretty simple. But now I'm just grumpy about it. All right, whatever. Moving on. Uh, other things people want to talk about, stuff going on, things happening in the world. Um, tomorrow is November, which is exciting which means the next meeting should be the 14th. I think that looks like a normal day. Let's see here. Um, 14th. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and if having a meeting on Halloween wasn't spooky enough, that'll be a meeting on Patch Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, 
I suppose. Um, eh, that's fine. I think that would be the next thing. Just chill on here, see if anybody has any questions, comments, stuff going on out there. Um, normally this is the part where Ron pops up and says, hey, what about my pull request? And I'm like, oh, I gotta get to the pull request, but I did it last night, finally. Um, all right, I don't know if anything else is going on. Um, that's, I mean, that's kind of the world right now. It's uh, been busy with lots of things going on. Uh, Wix 402 is out. Heatwave 102? Was it 102 in the end, Bob? It was 102. 102 yeah. Heatwave Coincident 102. Coincidentally. Coincidentally. They, they do not go together. Just happen to. Um, Heatwave 102 is out. So if you haven't upgraded you, to those, you, you should. Uh, good stuff in them. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's it then. All right, well, it's quiet out there, so I think we'll call that the meeting. Um, back in two weeks, so that would be uh, November 14, and we'll do this again, see what things come down triage, what things there are to do, and um, hopefully talk a bit more about progress being made on Wix 4, 5, Wix 5, progress being made on Wix 5. So, all right, I think that's it. All right, well, give me anything else. Uh, Got a deployment dojo show tomorrow if you want to show up at 1230. So that's like two and a half hours from two and hours, 20 minutes from this time slot tomorrow. Until then, uh, you guys have a good one. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye. Bye-bye.